What's shaking everyone? Welcome back to another DMZ video. And today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite loot locations, actually in all of Almazra. And I'm sure you've heard of it before. It's the airport, right? So everyone, yes, is talking about this little underground section in the airport. They're like, there's like five or six epic chests down below here. You know what? That's going to be nothing because I'm going to show you how to get 16 epic chests here. I wouldn't be a good YouTuber if I didn't say, hey, listen, if you enjoy this content, you don't have to do it now, but if you do end up enjoying it, just remember to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, hit the bell to get notified on my next video, and let's get going. So actually, this is pretty much a spawn right where I am, but we'll talk about that later. Yes, I'm going to start with the underground. There's a bunch of epic loot chests here. Um, you know, we're just going to search four of them. So usually it's three epics, one regular down below here. Uh, I see a sniper rifle. You got to take that. Got to love a sniper rifle uh, in the DMZ as your secondary. So we're just looting these chests. And after we loot these four chests, we're going to go through this double doors right here. So we've got another two, I think, down below right here, right? So this is the six chests that they always talk about. There's five epic and, uh, and one regular. So those are the ones everyone always talks about that are getting hyped for. After you hit these, I want you to go to the location I'm at right now. Now, I went the long way around. You can go through the underground to get to it. Uh, someone died here, so I'm just going to check out what they have. It was really hard, actually, to get this footage because I'm a solo. There's no offline mode, so it, it is kind of difficult. So the thing I want to show you is you get out right to the left here. See, you can get out of the left here, out of the underground, and then you go up these sets of stairs right here, and there's three more epic chests, right? So there's... Uh, two to our right, one to our left here. Now, after we hit these ones, those double doors right there, we want to go through those. And I'm going to show you what you're going to want to do. It's pretty much a circle. And I'm being really honest here. So let's zoom in on the map. And all you want to do is enter and go to the right or to the left and just circle around the whole thing and then come back to these double doors. So that's what we're going to do. And that's the basis of this whole loot run. It's actually quite amazing how many chests are here. Also, just a little bit more of advice. Even if you come to this late and you're like, there's no point of looting it. There's a lot of point of looting it. I'll tell you that right now, because two things happen. One, people rush their looting if they do spawn here because they know other players are coming. So they just rush really fast. And then two, people already have their medium backpacks or maybe they already have a large backpack and armor. So they're just leaving that stuff there because there's no reason at the moment to take it out of the DMZ. I really hope there is a reason eventually, but right now there's not a reason. So a lot of people just leave a lot of great loot still in these epic chests and we're going to take advantage of that. And also the fact that not everyone knows all the little nooks and crannies like we do or you're about to. So we're going to go to Yum Yum Burger to the right here and remember about these cash registers, you guys. They're awesome. Cash registers are so good for loot, but you have to remember that you do have to like open them and then just stay on them for a second so that the money goes into your uh, inventory. If you do it too fast, it's not going to go through there. So I am just going to kill some guys. Like I said, there's no offline mode, so I'm just kind of going through it. We had a basic chest there and in front of Yum Yum Burger just behind me, we have another epic chest. I'm just going to take care of this guy, hopefully faster. Ugh. I just really want look, you have no idea how long it took me to get this footage guys it's such a pain to to try to get footage and do it appropriately for these kind of videos so i was like sweating here i was like i finally got a good take let's go so like i said we got yum yum burger there was a chest there we got another chest just outside of yum yum burger and again we're going you know we're going through a circle here that's pretty much all we're just staying onto the outside I don't ever go down the escalators. Remember that you don't have to go down the escalators to do this run, okay? Thank God I got a bunch of self revives. Thank the Lord. Man, these, these tier threes and tier two guys are just such a pain sometimes, eh? Anyways, so we're right by the escalators. We got another epic chest here. We're gonna loot that. Nothing too juicy in there. That the ammo box will come in handy. You know, one thing I found out about today actually is that if you drop an ammo box and then drop an ammo or an, or if you drop an armor box and then an ammo box right after, it'll destroy 
whatever you just dropped before that. It was really interesting. Anyway, so we're back into this area right now. So we've gotten this epic uh, supply crate here. Another one is in here, but remember, we're going to just loot the money first. These these refrigerators are everywhere here, too, and those are really good money. You know, some of those wines that are like twenty five hundred dollars are, are fantastic. There's another epic chest right here. Uh, we got actually a golden gas mask, which is awesome. And then we're going to continue on over here. And again, look at all of this money we're grabbing, right? Someone already did come in here, guys, and loot just to let you know. And we're coming out of here with like thirty thousand dollars, which is insane, right? Again, we're staying to the outside. We're doing our circle. We're getting all these epic chests. We're getting a lot of money. I am going to switch snipers right here because I'm trying to level this one up, actually. So again, you just want to go into these little stores, but like, there's all these little nooks and crannies that still have these epic chests on the outside. We're going to go into here. We've got another epic chest. We found a large backpack again. Look this. See, and that's weird, right? That epic chest got looted, but the one behind us that I just found the large backpack didn't. And now we're just back at the start. And that's the loot run right there. From us entering those double doors, it actually took us about three minutes and 20 seconds. And that's with us killing a couple of tier two and tier three guards. And you know, that's me just really trying to go in depth for you guys, or at least show you every single little thing. If you get this rundown, you can do it in probably two minutes. If there's no guards inside easy two and a half, if there is, and if you have a team, holy man, can you just go through this like nothing? But there are a couple of things I do want to tell you about before we head out here about this whole airport scenario. These are all the DMZ spawns. Now, right here is God spawn for the airport. It's about, I would say, 20 seconds from that little underground with the six chests. Then five of them are epic. So this one is God spawn. Then you got one over here to just behind it this takes a little bit of time to get to airport this team takes a little bit of time so if you want you can do the underground and then leave or you can just chance it and try to take them on right you also got a spawn to the north this is going to definitely be a wild card spawn i would say you never know if they're just going to hit train and get off at the airport or just go on their merry way but i just want to show you all the spawns that you could get or get around you if you even got god spawn now, let me show you one really important thing. Also, if you are coming to the airport late. So if we are coming to the airport and it's been, you know, 10 minutes or something and we're like, you know what, let's go get some of those juicy leftovers. The first thing I'm going to do is look for this UAV. It is always somewhere at the airport. And what I want to do is make sure one of us gets dropped off at it and hits it as soon as possible. And the other two players can do whatever they want. But this is one of the most important things if you do show up to the airport late just to see if there are players still around. And remember, the UAVs are busted. I've said this before, right? You can use the UAV towers and then once they just shut down and they're done, you know, giving you all the info, the person could be right next to it and hit it up again. There's no cooldown on the UAV towers. I, I think this is busted, but you can use it to your advantage on places like airport. I'm not perfect. Okay. I might have missed a couple of locations at the airport and you might be yelling at this video being like geeks. There's blah, blah, blah. Tell us in the comments below. I'm never like, I'm never offended when people tell me I miss something. You know, I want you guys to share that info. I want you guys to help one another. That's the type of community we have here. So if you like that type of community, Hey, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It's free for you guys. It means honestly the world to me and only like 30 percent of the audience ever gets to this part of the video so if you're one of the 30 percenters and you're part of that club tell me your favorite hockey team in the comments down below so thank you so much and until next time i'll talk to everyone later